Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Soulmates Twin Flames Tarot. This is a general love reading for the collective. Not all the messages that come through today may apply to everyone watching. So please only take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and what resonates for you and your situation and release the rest to the universe. I was confused about what I wanted, but I see clearly now. Your person has had an epiphany, and that is a great way to start this reading for you guys today. Their confusion wasn't really confusion about them wanting you, because they do, and they did. Their confusion was about how they were going to have to change to become the partner that you need them to be. Not the person they were in the past, but the person they are becoming. This is about them taking ownership and changing and transforming to become the person that can meet you halfway, that can give to you as much as you give to them, that's willing to put in the effort and the energy required to maintain and sustain this connection. That is where their confusion came from. They've always wanted you, but they knew that they needed to step up to the plate to be able to do that putting on their big person pants and moving and grooving along and getting this relationship with you to the place of union. But they've had a breakthrough and they've had an epiphany. They see things now with a much greater sense of clarity than what they saw in the past. I feel as if I've known you my whole life. So when you met your person, did it feel that you already knew them? Was there this intense feeling of familiarity about them? Like you have known each other, but in another time, another space, another lifetime. Your person felt the same way. They knew the minute that the two of you met that there was this instant attraction there, a love at first sight moment, and they felt very comfortable with you. Perhaps in the very beginning, the two of you would spend countless hours talking, texting, sharing things with each other that you hadn't shared with anyone ever because of that sense of it be feeling familiar. Your person feels as if they've always known you and you guys watching the video probably feel the same way. It's the energy that's between the two of you because of the soul recognition that's here between you and your person, recognizing each other from a past incarnation. You will see me again. I want to talk. Yes, you will see your person again. They are thinking about reaching out and communicating with you, opening those lines of communication so the two of you can start spending time together and repairing this relationship, but on a much higher vibrational energy with each other. During the time apart, you have both changed and transformed and become more evolved people, more authentic within yourselves, living from the perspective of your soul as opposed to the perspective of your ego. Your person wants to talk to you because they miss your conversations and they miss spending time with you. So they will be reaching out to you and making plans to spend some time together. You bring out a softer side of me. Now, perhaps your person didn't show this softer side of themselves when the two of you were spending time together before, but they will present a much softer side to you as the two of you start spending time together and rebuilding this relationship, they will be kinder, more understanding, more compassionate and generous of their time and of their love with you. They want to be that person who can meet you halfway, who will contribute to this relationship as much as you contribute to the relationship between the two of you. Someone who's willing to make more compromises with you and be more supportive of you, your goals and your dreams, just like you have been with them. This creates the perfect balance of yin yang energy between the two of you, which is divine masculine and divine feminine coming into union. 
I want us to reconcile. Your person wants a fresh start with you. They want an opportunity to give this relationship another chance, a better chance, a stronger chance of making it to the place of union. This is something that they've learned during this time of separation from each other because they've had a breakthrough and see things much clearer now. They've got this sense of clarity within their mind that is combined with this feeling within their heart that tells them it's time to start reconciling this connection and bringing the two of you into a place of reunion. I hear songs all the time that make me think of you. Now, your person could be hearing songs that the universe is popping on the radio or wherever they're going, and they're listening to those songs. Perhaps it was a favorite song of yours, or perhaps it was your song as a couple, or some of your songs as a couple, and they're listening to those songs and reliving the moments when the two of you would hear those songs together. Reliving those memories, taking those trips down memory lane and feeling very nostalgic about you and about this connection. But they're also listening much more carefully to the lyrics of those songs and finding deeper hidden meaning in those lyrics that they are taking in to their heart and into their soul. And it's giving them a greater understanding of this connection with you. My love for you is everlasting. Yes, this comes back to this. I feel as if I've known you my whole life. And your person's love for you is everlasting. It is eternal. It is a many, many lifetime eternal love that's here between you and your person. Your person can't love anyone else, even if they tried. And perhaps for some of you, your person has tried to be with someone else or date someone else or has been stuck in a karmic or third party situation that they're trying to free themselves from. Please only take that last statement if you know that it resonates with you and your situation. That statement wasn't meant for everyone. It was just more of a statement for those of you who are in situations with someone that's stuck with a third party or a karmic that they're trying to free themselves from. Your person has deep feelings and emotions for you. Their love for you is eternal. It is an endless love. And it's a love that moves beyond time and space because it's an infinite love. This is the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is a card of reconciliation. But it's also a card that tells us your person is thinking about you feeling very nostalgic, taking trips down memory lane, reliving those adventures and experiences that the two of you had when you were together. You were on their mind and they are thinking about you a lot with this Six of Cups being present. But as I said, it is a card of reunion for you and your person, someone from the past returning and representing themselves as a romantic partner. This is the Page of Swords. Page of Swords tells us that your person is perhaps checking you out online, looking at your social media, seeing what's going on in your life because they're trying to figure out what's going on in your life or kind of like trying to figure out what's going on with you through other means, perhaps looking you if you have a website, looking at your website, if you have mutual acquaintances, talking to them to try to find out what's going on. But this page of swords is also a card that tells us your person is going to communicate. It is the manifestation of communication. So your person is thinking about reaching out because your person wants to talk to you and spend time with you again. This is the chariot. This is about success. It's about victory. It's about your person taking action to create movement in this situation between the two of you from where things have been stuck and things have been stuck between you and your person, especially for those of you in no contact, ghosting, running situations. There's been no movement in this connection in the 3D realm for some time. This is about your person taking action and creating change in the dynamic 
by contacting you through social media or through phone or through text or whatever means they wish to communicate with you and starting to get this connection with you moving on the forward path so you can continue on this journey together. But also the chariot is about success. So this tells us your person is going to be successful in learning and growing and evolving the way that they need to, to become this romantic partner that you need and deserve, who will be more expressive of their love and their feelings for you. See, this is the hangman. Yes, the hangman tells us your person is seeing things from a different perspective now. They're seeing things with greater clarity. The hangman tells us that things have been in this place of suspended animation with your person. So things have been stuck, but they are breaking free with that chariot being here. So from this place where things have had no movement, in this stalemate, stuck in a rut, there's change that's happening. Things will start moving and grooving here between you and your person. But the hangman is the card that also tells us about sacrifice. So your person is going to be willing to make more compromises with you in the future. They're seeing things much clearer now. They have a greater understanding of how their actions, their words, their behaviors, whatever it was they did, caused this connection with the two of you to go to this place that it is right now, to this place of stagnation, to this place of no contact, running, ghosting, whatever it is. And through that clarity, they're able to see what they need to do to make the changes they need to make to get this connection moving forward again. This is the Empress. The Empress tells us that your person sees you as an ideal partner for them. They see you as someone who is a mover and a shaker, someone who's a leader, someone who makes things happen, someone who's not afraid of anything, someone who's overcome so many difficulties in their life through their own inner strength, courage, and wisdom. This is how your person sees you. The Empress is also the card of the Earth Mother. They are so very attracted to you on so many levels. Perhaps your person also thinks that you would make a good mother when the energy of the Empress is present. It is the card of motherhood. Perhaps you've talked about having a family, planning a family, combining your families. Please only take that statement if it resonates for you. The Empress, though, is also the card that tells us your person sees long-term with you. The Empress card is a card about long-term relationships and commitment, whether that includes marriage, moving in together, domestic partnership, whatever it is for you and your person. This is how they see you in regard to their life and in regard to this connection moving forward. Let's see what else the collective wants to reveal today, please. What else do we need to know for this reading today? Serendipity. Yes, the universe is speaking to your person, giving them signs and synchronicities, hearing those songs that are coming at them out of left field, wherever they go, whether it's at the grocery store, at the gym, in the car, at work, listening to these songs, seeing other signs that remind them of you as well. Perhaps they're seeing your name, your initials, the kind of car you drive. Perhaps they're just seeing someone that reminds them of you and that triggers those memories. The universe is at work in this connection with your person to try and bring this relationship to this place of union. What else does the collective want to reveal for this reading? What else do we need to know? Soulmates. Look at those penguins. You know, penguins do mate for life, right? They do. And look at all the little hearts here on this card. So your person knows that there is a deep soul connection here between the two of you. A spiritual connection, a spiritual partnership, divine masculine and divine feminine coming into union with each other. I was just trying to get the glare off these cards, guys. It's because they're so shiny. 
The point here is your person with this soulmate's card being here, they know that you belong together. They know that you have a deep connection with each other. They know that you belong in union. Now we can call it soulmates or twin flames. Take it as it resonates for you. If you know that you're in a twin flame connection, you're in a twin flame connection. Just take it as it resonates. The point of this card, though, is that it is a deep spiritual connection between you and your person, and they know it. They know that you are the one for them. They feel that they have known you forever. Their love for you is eternal. It is everlasting. They want to reconcile. They want to spend time together because they miss you and they want to talk to you and get the conversations going again between the two of you to move this connection to this place of union. I was just trying to see what this card said. Their confusion is gone. They have a greater sense of clarity now than they've ever had concerning you and this relationship with you. And they are going to start taking the steps necessary to rebuild this connection, to have this fresh start that comes with this Six of Cups that is about reunion and reconciliation. This is your reading for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to everyone watching today. Have a great day, everyone.